I woke up a little bit ago and I just started crying. I'm really sad. But I've just been like with this dog. Grandma's almost 73! That was sad. What a good baby! I love you so much. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Hey guys, it's me McCall and welcome back to our YouTube video. In today's video, I am just showing you guys how I'm processing and moving through grieving. I really just tried to make my YouTube a place where we can come together. If you follow my Instagram, you may or may not know that my dog passed away. We got my dog when I was four. I'm now 18 and losing her feels like I've lost a piece of myself. I recently lost a family member. As of today, it looks like in the upcoming week, I'm going to lose another one. And it's been a lot to understand and process. And I also moved to LA. I'm away from my family. On Saturday, I flew home and spent the last couple hours with my dog. We had um, a vet come to our house and put her down. Prior to her passing, I would tell friends and family that every day I would get up just so I could go see her. It got me excited to get out of bed because I got to go say good morning to her and like give her loves and kisses. I laid with her for four hours. I like did not leave her side. She had to be put down. She wasn't eating or drinking water. She was throwing up, but she didn't really have anything to throw up. So she was just throwing up mucus. When she went to the restroom, blood would come out. We knew that she was in a lot of pain. So we had to do what was best for her, which was really hard on all of us. Saturday night, we put Bella down. Sunday morning, I flew back home to LA. I stayed in my room the whole day. I didn't eat the whole day and then Sean brought me food which was really sweet. All of Monday I was in my room 90% of the day. Today I've tried to go out of my room and be more social. I know that I need to get fresh air and eat and whatever. So that's the backstory. Right now I'm in Nate's room because my room doesn't have a door or a wall which I will get into in my moving vlogs but I really needed some privacy. I've been trying to drink water too because I've been crying and uh, you to stay hydrated. I have this dog with me. I've had this stuffed animal since I was very young and then I have Bella's real collar on this dog. When Bella started getting really old I gave this dog to Bella and she'd always cuddle and sleep with it because I knew that once Bella passed away it would be like I had a little piece of her. Roll the vlog footage I have from today. I've showered every day since I've gotten here but I'm such a drag I don't want to. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna give myself that self-care. I don't have energy for anything and I feel so lonely here. I wish I was with my family. I start crying again. I just showered feeling good and clean. I turned on the lights in here all the way up for the first time since I've come in here. I'm gonna start by opening the windows. I want to do some light makeup been going bare face it was very draining to talk i look really glowy do me a favor if you have a pet right now go give it a hug now i'm just trying my best to be present it's 12 28 I have not been very hungry lately when people are grieving or really sad sometimes you don't want to eat and so it's really hard to find hunger but i'm gonna go try to have some food even if i'm not hungry i should eat something let's get up three two one <laughs> It broke. Nova Shine sent me a toothbrush. I love Nova Shine. I just laid in bed for about 40 minutes. I want to clean my fish's tank. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Come out, fishy. Hello. Hashtag fish mom. I got my little fishy. <laughs> I find cleaning to be therapeutic. So I thought that I would clean a little bit. I'm going to go in with this Lysol multi-purpose cleaner. Bro, why am I acting like I'm doing a haul of cleaning supplies? And then I'm also gonna go in with the cleaner and bleach. I have some gloves and this little rag. I was going through it. All right, feels good to have a clean bathroom. Right now I'm just trying to clean up boxes in my room. I think that these things are so satisfying to step on. Day three of this little video. Um, The first day when it ended abruptly, it was because I got news that my grandma passed away. Wow. 
while I was organizing my necklaces, I found one that my grandma gave me and I was just thinking about how special of a soul she was and how cool she was. She was really cool. I love her a lot. I think after having like my two or three days like not getting out of bed, I'm feeling really good about getting more into like the mojo of things again. And we all move on our own time. If you're going through something, if you need to lay in bed for a whole week, do it. If laying in bed makes you feel worse, don't do it. I needed a couple days. And I have pizza on the way. I've had like pizza every day, I feel like since getting back. So I really want to eat healthier. That's my little update. I'll keep updating y'all about how I feel. I just showered. I took a cold shower and it felt so good. I feel very refreshed. Update, it is March 9th. I've been doing really good. And then I just got a little sad because I really miss my puppy. But that's okay. That's just gonna be part of it. It's a roller coaster. It'd be like that, but I really do miss her. And I wish I could hug her. It's okay. So it's not a little thing, but I love you, Bella.